Burlington's mayor reeling in what counts as voluntary overtime hours for city police officers after a unique contract with the city police and a condo community in the Queen City became public. NBC5 Sid Bule has more on the decision, the, the decision made about this arrangement and what this means for police working overtime. What we want is to ensure that we don't serve anyone in this community any differently than anyone else in this community. An unusual extra duty overtime contract between the Burlington Police Officers Association and Riverwatch Condominium drawing attention from the Police Commission and Mayor Moreau Weinberger. I think it was a mistake to approve this contract, but I can understand how it could happen given that this issue hasn't really arisen before. Both the mayor and acting chief John Murad say extra duty contracts are routine, but this one was different since it was for a private residential area instead of a construction site or a public event. There are many neighborhoods that have asked for this. In this particular instance, there was a neighborhood that actually had a, an association that could contract with the BPOA the way any number of entities have contracted with the BPOA in the past. But the Burlington Police Commission says the contract between the BPOA and Riverwatch draws concern when it comes to department staffing. A private contract with an overtime with a, an hourly rate that it exceeds the overtime rate at the police department creates an incentive for officers to turn down overtime for the city. This contract represented one half of 1% of all the overtime that officers of the Burlington Police Department did in 2022. The mayor says around 220 hours were worked at Riverwatch in 2022 by Burlington police officers. But for 2022 as a whole, officers worked over 20,000 hours in overtime. And that highlights the department's need for more police. A single officer works about 2,000 hours in the course of a year. And you know, if you multiply that by 25 time, times, that's what we're short now in terms of the capacity we have to provide the historic level of public safety that we have here. Riverwatch resident and progressive city councilor Zariah Hightower gave a statement to NBC5 saying she agrees with part of the mayor's memo to council, saying private contracts like this create, quote, inequitable circumstance where some property owners seek additional police presence while other Burlington residents cannot. Contract has lapsed. It's not going to be renewed. We're not going to sign contracts like this going forward. NBC5 reached out to the Burlington Police Officers Association for comment, but they declined. In Burlington, Sid Bule, NBC5 News. We also reached out to the management at Riverwatch, but they have not gotten back to us in time for tonight's report. We'll keep you posted.